Hi guys, today in honor of the 4th of July, I thought I would talk about some American authors. I was going to do my favorite American authors, but I really don't read a lot of American authors, so I just thought I would choose a few American authors that I really enjoyed. These are just some of my favorite authors that are from America, and I'm going to recommend my favorite book of theirs. So if you haven't read any of these, it's a little push into reading some of these authors. First up is Edith Wharton. She has written a lot of books, but I've actually only read one of hers, and that's The House of Mirth. There are a lot of characters that you have to keep straight in this, but I still really enjoyed the book. This is about Lily Bart in the early 1900s. She's 29 and single. She is a very well-known person, and she knows that she's going to have to marry someone in order to get money. But she has a big gambling problem, and it kind of ruins her reputation. But this is just about a single woman in her 20s trying to be independent when she's really running out of money. Next is Sylvia Plath. I absolutely love The Bell Jar, as you can tell with all of the tabs. I don't know if I just read this at the exact right moment, but I just really enjoyed this book, and I really could relate to it. I have her complete collected poems, but I highly recommend reading The Bell Jar if you haven't. This is sort of a memoir of Sylvia. All of the characters' names have been changed, but a lot of what happened in this book actually happened to her, and I'm just really glad that I read this book, and I can't wait to read more of Sylvia Plath. Next up is Harper Lee. She is the author of To Kill a Mockingbird and Go Set a Watchman, which I enjoyed both of. But if you haven't read To Kill a Mockingbird, definitely pick this one up. I just feel like it's a must-read, especially if you're from America. I've read this one probably three or four times. I just really love this book, and she was just another really great American author. Next up is F. Scott Fitzgerald. I'm going to recommend The Great Gatsby. This is one of my all-time favorite books. I think this might be a school read, so I'm sure a lot of people have read it. So if you have and you want to read another Fitzgerald book, then I recommend Trying Tender is the Night. I read this one a couple of months ago and I really enjoyed it. It's a lot longer than The Great Gatsby, but it's still worth a read. The last American author that I'm going to mention is probably no surprise if you watch my channel. It's Ernest Hemingway. He's one of my favorite authors. My all-time favorite book is A Movable Feast. This is a memoir of Ernest Hemingway in Paris in the 20s. There's a lot of other famous authors in this, including Fitzgerald. And there's a part in this book where Ernest helps Fitzgerald go get his car, and they kind of take a road trip together. It was absolutely hilarious. I definitely recommend this book. But if you're a little intimidated by this book, there are so many more books that you could read of his that are shorter. The Old Man in the Sea is only about 100 pages, and I really enjoyed this book. I know a lot of people don't really like this one, but if you're wanting something short, definitely try this one. Or even shorter, you could choose The Snows of Kilimanjaro. This is just a short story, and I really liked this one. These are just some ideas to get you started into some Hemingway. I don't know a lot of people personally that really like Hemingway, so if I could just persuade one person to read Hemingway, that would just be fantastic. I just really love his writing, and he was just really tough, and he could probably kill an animal with his bare hands, and probably has. So I definitely recommend picking up one of these Hemingway books. Okay, those are just a few of some of my favorite American authors. Let me know if you've read anything by these authors, and who your favorite American authors are. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!